Let's take a closer look now at diatomic molecules. The names for the electronic states of diatomic molecules are usually just uh, referred to by the letter X for the ground state. And then the first excited state with the same multiplicity as the X state is called A. And then the next one is B. And then the next one is C and so on. Okay. Uh, as far as you may have other electronic states that have a different multiplicity, and for those you use lowercase letters. So the first excited state with a different multiplicity compared to the ground state would be lowercase a. All right. So uh, those are the names. So if you remember when we looked up constants of atomic molecules in the lab, we went to the NIST website and we went through that table for the molecular constants. Okay. These are the letters that they use for the electronic names. Okay. In addition to that, just these letters, you can also specify a code for big lambda here, which is the absolute value of big M sub L. M sub L is just the Z component of the total orbital angular momentum of the electrons. And so just like in atoms where we have a little s, p, d, f, core, hydrogenic atoms, for more than one electron, you have capital S, capital P, capital D, capital F for these symbols for the total orbital angular momentum, right? In this case, instead of sigma, pi, delta for one electron systems, for, for diatomic molecules with more than one electron, you can use sigma, capital sigma, capital pi, capital delta, right? And uh, so what is the L sub Z for the X state of strontium? Here's strontium right here, this uh, diagram right here, the atomic strontium. Notice the ground state is a singlet sigma G plus. Okay. Uh, what does that at one mean? It's a singlet, right? That means all electrons are paired. What would be the ground state for H2 plus? What do you think? What would be the multiplicity for that one? One electron. Be a doublet. It could either be spin up or spin down. Okay. G is for garage. Uh, plus is another uh, code for another symmetry property of the wave function. Okay. So what's the Z component of this? of the orbital angular momentum of this electronic state. This is the X state. Sigma is code for M sub L equals zero. So LZ would be zero. Okay. Look at your A state. It's also a sigma it's also a singlet state. Alright. So if your ground state is a singlet, it's a singlet then the letters A, B, C, D, capital A, capital B, capital C, those would refer to singlet states as well. If your ground state is a triplet, then the first excited triplet state will be given the capital A designation and so on. All right, let's take a look at some of those from the NIST website. Webbook.ni. Oops. Webbook.nisc.gov. Oops. Went the wrong way. Chemistry webbook. Like if I were to do a search for, let's say, NO, constants of diatomic molecules, let's do a search. You'll notice here on this table. You're given the electronic states, the letters. The ground state is a doublet pi state. Okay. The next lowest state you'll notice is given a small letter A because it's not a doublet, it's a quartet state. The first excited doublet state right here, so doublet sigma plus, that's the capital A state. Okay, so going further up, 
the B state has a TE of 45,942 reciprocal centimeters. That's a doublet state, it's a doublet pi state. Okay. So uh, if you were to do, let's say, HCL, let's try HCL. Constants of diatomic molecules. Hydrogen chloride. What's the ground state for HCl? It's a sigma state. Okay. And it's a singlet state. That means you would expect, if you were to draw a molecular orbital diagram, you would expect all your electrons to be paired up singlet. What do you think is the ground state for O2, oxygen? Two electrons unpaired. What's the largest possible M sub S you can have if you have two unpaired electrons? Plus one half, plus one half. The largest possible M sub S you can get is one, so your S must be one. This must be part of a set that goes from one, zero to negative one, right? So you would ex maximum multiplicity for two unpaired electrons is three. It's a triplet. Two s plus one is three. There's three possible m sub s values for a triplet. And let's verify that. Let's look at the ground state. Let's look for the ground state of O2. Search for O2. And ground state for O2 is a triplet sigma minus state. Sigma G is a triplet state. Say so if I were to ask you what is the LZ for your X state, psi uh, triplet sigma G minus zero. Because sigma is code for M sub L equals zero. Okay. What is the uh, S squared Operating on psi for that one going to be equal to. It's going to be s times s plus 1 h bar squared psi. And so what's our s here? If it's a triplet, s is 1. 1 times 2 h bar squared. So s squared is 2 h bar squared, so s would be squared of 2. If it's a triplet, 2s plus 1 equals 3, so s must be equal to 1. Remember, the reason it's a triplet is because m sub s can be 1, 0, or 90. The degeneracy, because of spin, is 3 when s equals 1. All right. Uh, so multiplicity, like I said, that's the subscript, superscript you write in front of the symbol. S plus one, and okay. Uh, U and G labels refer to the symmetry with respect to inversion. We talked about that before. Plus and minus labels refer to the symmetry with respect to reflection to the vertical plane. So if you have this molecule right here, this is your z-axis. Any plane that contains that is a sigma v plane. Okay, the vertical plane. The xy plane is what you would call your horizontal plane, sigma h, okay? The xy plane would be sigma h. So plus and minus refers to the symmetry of your wave function uh, when you reflect it through any of those vertic any vertical plane, okay? So in the case of strontium, what is the uh, inversion through, um, in, what's the result of inversion? 
What was SR2? What did we have? It's a singlet sigma G plus. It's garage, so symmetric. We'll just give you X. Sigma V. So reflection through the vertical plane. It's a plus, so it's symmetric. So it will just it will just give you back the same function. Uh, one other comment before we finish this up. One, one thing you'll notice when you plot these potential energy functions, what happens as R approaches infinity? You just basically get the sum of the wave functions for the separated atoms. So typically you'll notice the term symbols for the atoms that you get when they're separated are indicated in these types of diagrams. So the ground state of SR2, for example, the atomic strontium, okay, the limit is singlet S, plus singlet S. You have two strontium atoms in the singlet S state. Is that the ground state of strontium, singlet S? Where do you find strontium in your periodic table? Let's see. Go to webelements.com. Get that periodic table. Oops. Where is strontium? Strontium is right here. So what's the electron configuration for strontium? You have a krypton core, okay, 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s. So krypton core, 5s2. All electrons are paired up. So that means the total spin and total orbital angular momentum uh, is zero, right? So you have an S state and a singlet state. Your ground state for strontium is a singlet state. Okay, and that's it.